All right, hi everyone. So it's me made it back uh, to Cyprus after being away uh, at work for the last five weeks. And uh, while I was away, I was uh, just thinking about you know the hardware and, and uh, picks in sight and trying to improve its performance. So I started to do a little bit of digging around. And uh, one of the things that I'd never really looked at in picks in sight was the benchmarking tool. And uh, when I did some reading up on that and ways to try and improve uh, the performance of Pix and Sight, I thought, well, I'll come home and have a try and just see what difference any of these settings made. So without obviously going in and spending more money on hardware and all these sorts of things, I just decided, uh, well, I'll give it a try. Nothing to lose. So let's see what we can get out of it. So at the moment, I'm using um, the machine that I built back in late 2018, which is a Core i9-7920X uh, CPU, which is a 12-core, 24-thread processor. Uh, I think it uh, clock speeds in at 2.9, uh, I think it is, yep. Yeah. And uh, I added to it this year um, another 32 gigabytes of RAM into it to take it up to 64, because I noticed when I was doing certain things, uh, whether it's in the programming or in uh, just messing around with video files and all these sorts of stuff uh, I was hitting the upper limit of a gigabyte, uh, 32 gigabytes on the original build and I was doing a lot of disk paging and things like that so I put another 32 gigabytes into it and I also added a second uh, SSD uh, so I did have a one terabyte NVMe SSD in it uh, which is a Samsung 970 EVO and then at the beginning of this year I added in a second one uh, to move all the astrophotography working files onto and just try and improve uh, the things there. So if we have a quick look at the file system, if I pull this window open you can see I've got four hard disks in this computer. The C is obviously the main Windows disk which is the, the 970 EVO and then the X drive which is all my astrophotography stuff is a 970 EVO plus, a two terabyte drive. And then I've got two uh, hard disks. Uh, these are old Seagate two terabyte drives that I had left uh, from previous uh, NAS box that failed on me uh, when I moved it to Cyprus. Uh, so I just recovered two of the hard disks out of them and I just use them as dumping ground for storing some of my video files and applications and just random junk basically that I just keep on it just to keep things a bit segregated. So I came back uh, yesterday and today I fired up the benchmark tool and then made a couple of changes. So if here we're looking at the benchmark uh, results page which uh, you can get off pixinsight.com forward slash benchmark and I posted the results uh, using the benchmark tool and these are the two sets of results that I got. Uh, the top one, uh, number one, we can see uh, the total score was 12152 and a CPU score of 14906 and then a swap file score of 6910 and the transfer rate was 1.2 gigabytes and the total time executed was 38.71 seconds. So then I made a couple of changes to uh, the configuration in Pixinsight and the second benchmark uh, you can see that the total increased to 14094. The CPU score didn't really change at all. Uh, obviously, there's been nothing changed on the CPU, but the swap file, it jumped from 6910 to 11741, and the transfer increased from 1247 to 2119 uh, megabits, megabytes, and the total time dropped from the 38.7 to the 3. Three, uh, sorry, 33.38 seconds. So when we look at the swap file score, uh, sorry, when we look at the total score, that was an increase of uh, roughly 15%, and the total time uh, was a reduction uh, in, uh, of 8%, so uh, it was faster by 8%, which is not a bad change for just changing a couple of settings. So in the settings, uh, what I did, here's Pixinsight, and I went up to uh, Global Preferences on the Edit menu. And if we look down the various modules, uh, we can see Directories and Disk. And what I've done in there is the original C drive, uh, where the Windows temporary file is, uh, I've got that as a swap storage directory. But I also added in a second swap file directory, uh, this X drive, and I created a folder on there called Pixinsight Swap Folder. And I've added that into the list. 
And then on the parallel processing and threads, I increased uh, the maximum number of file reading threads and the maximum number of file writing threads. These were both originally set at one and I've increased them to eight and I've left them at that. But obviously when you read the description there, you know, you can, you know, push that number up higher depending on your hardware and uh, just keep testing on your benchmark. So at the moment, I just increased it from one uh, to eight. So that's, uh, that's all the settings that I made to get um, an 8% improvement in the time and a 15% improvement on the swap file score. And the benchmark itself, you can find obviously up in script, benchmark, picks and site benchmark. And uh, so if you've never tried this on your own hardware, it's maybe something to give a go. There's a couple of easy changes you can make there and see if it makes a difference or not to your system. So when we go into the picks and site benchmark tool, and we hit enter, and we just run the benchmark. It takes, as I say, for my setup here, it takes around about 30 seconds, 33 seconds, something like that it was on the score. So we leave that to run. It'll do its thing, and then it'll pop up. I've got the image here, show image windows. And uh, once it's finished, that pops up, and it gives you a score. So that's it just finishing off now. There we go, the window pops up and it gives you the scores here. We can see total score 13875 and a CPU score, swap file score, etc. Now what you need to do if you wanted to submit these scores onto the, the Pixinsight database, you actually need to run uh, the benchmark three times and it will actually prompt you that uh, when you hit the submit button. And once you hit the submit button, if you've done three benchmarks, it also gives you the option to add in some more information around your, your hardware setup just for the database. So there we have it, a couple of quick easy changes I made to my system and to gain a nice little boost in performance. So uh, we'll have to wait and see if that's a noticeable difference when I actually do some uh, image uh, integration. And uh, well, the benchmark says it's better, so I'll take it for granted. So that's all for us now. Give it a try and we'll catch you in the next one.